It was just crazy. I... Hey. Good evening, Abby. You didn't tell me you were coming with your friend. Um, I'm really sorry, Abby. Um, Nobu, maybe I'll just come back some other time. No, Zach, you don't need to apologize. It's our wedding anniversary. Oh. You didn't only come late. You brought your friend along without informing me. Um, happy anniversary. God, you didn't say anything. Abby. Abby! What's the meaning of what you did downstairs? Hmm? Talk to me! I am not going to let you ignore me like I'm an idiot. But that's exactly what you are. That's exactly the way you behaved. Showing him your body off just like that. How? What do you mean showing him off my body? Didn't you see me cover myself? Covered which self? This is your small hand. What can it cover? Cover it now. No boy. Cover it. No boy what? What? You want to act like a prostitute? Go ahead and act like a prostitute now. Only God knows what you wear the next time he comes here. Maybe it's just pant and bra. Look, Look at. I dressed like this for you. I have spent days waiting for this night, thinking of how to make it special for you. Did I ask you? Did I beg you, Madam Special? Did I ever tell you, make this day special for me? No! I have told you not to throw this your useless and senseless party, but you never listen. Men don't have time to for those kind of nonsense. We have bigger things to think about. Don't you appreciate things? Balloons. Don't you always act rude to me? All the time? Noble, if you're tired, if this marriage is over, why don't you be a man and tell me? If I tell you, will you go? Eh? Will you? Better go and sleep. Sleep on the bed and sleep. Stress me with your nonsense talk. Bullshit. Excuse me. Why are you dressed then? You don't excuse me. What are you asking me excuse me for? I'm going to work. Where else? It's not like we're going anywhere. Zach has accommodation issues and I've agreed to house you. You did what? Are you deaf? I just told you something and you're telling me you did what? What stupid question is that? What what? <laughs> now let me understand this. You decided to house Zach. In whose house? No, but did you talk to me about it? I am your wife. You can't just go about making decisions without letting me know. Letting me know? Yes. Huh. As in taking permission. As what now? Hmm? As the owner of this house or what? Who's the husband of this house? No, but this is also my home. And I have every right to disagree. You can't just wake up one morning and decide to drop something of this magnitude on me and expect me to accept it. Uh, so what are you going to do about it? Beat me. Hmm? He's not coming here. He is not coming to this house. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, just take your money, go to the market. Buy food stuff, cook good soup, so that we don't have an argument. 
Are you serious? How can, how can he say that to you? You know, we don't even live well alone. We are always fighting. How much more when there is someone in the house? When there is someone here with us? Because I can't. I can't do this. I can't. But he has made it clear. I mean, it's not as if he left you with any option. But what did I do to deserve this? I mean, what did I do to deserve this? This is not marriage. You can't call this marriage. I'm friends. tired. I'm sick and tired of it. You can't be tired or than cast by this time. I mean, you've been into this for a very long time, and I think it's time you start growing yours. What do you mean? All I ask is a happy marriage. I just want to be happy like everyone else. Is it too much to ask? And if the happy marriage is not forthcoming, you would kill yourself for that? Good. You know what? Dust yourself up and let's prepare this meal. Because from what I'm seeing, this meal is going to be the least of your incoming problem. Let's go. Where do you have it? Come and check what. Thank you. Also, I know how much of an inconvenience this has been to you, and I'm really sorry. Dinner is ready. You can come down when your friend is back. Thanks. And I mean it. If you're not happy with me being here, then I can leave. I already know how things are between the both of you. I do not want it becoming even more awkward. That would have mattered if I was at least informed prior to this morning. Right now, you're here already, and that's it. Hmm. This one actually tastes better. I'll be well done. <laughs> but what are you saying? Hmm? Why is it Nasi? We don't know who your wife is. She's an amazing cook. All her dishes since I've known her, they've been hot back to back. So. Story. <laughs> Story for the gods. Bro, this woman, when she cooks, most times, I'll ask myself, is this woman? I want to send her back to her father's house. Then I now realize that, oh, wait, though. Even her father's self, I'll give her away to me in a hurry. Probably was tired of eating white and brown rice. We think have no resistance at all. No boo. What? Oh, you think I'm lying? She's here now. Ask her now. Am I lying? Can you cook? <sighs> Bro, when this woman cooks, sometimes you will ask yourself, why? Our food used to be like dice. You know where you carry dice, roll any number you get. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. Sometimes you should cook like this. You ask yourself, ah, ah is this Lot's wife? <laughs> like salt. Sometimes curry time, you say, ah, this might have beef with seasoning or what? Thank yeah. you. For what? Can we at least enjoy the food? Enjoy? What is there to enjoy, please? You cook yellow and brown rice. No, no, no salad, nothing, nothing. Just you cook cucumber. That is enjoy. This is basic mid-level food now. There's not, bro, if you want to eat, come, let me take you somewhere. Go get you. Hmm? Oh, wait, thank you. This, this is this is amazing now, bro. No, no, no. This, it's amazing. This, this is good now. You, you decided to punish yourself. Who am I? Let all of us need to punish together. Okay? I 
wanted to free you from this thing, but you have said no. You insist on being punished because whatever reason. Basic, basic, basic food. We don't do now. Basic. We don't do. Okay, wait. Hey. Um, I'm sorry about earlier. I just talked to tell you. I'm sorry. You didn't do anything, so why apologize? I don't know. I figured that maybe if I hadn't come here, then you wouldn't have had to make the meal. And, you know, that whole situation that happened earlier wouldn't have happened. You know, that's not true. You know how your friend is. And if you found it awkward, then you wouldn't have come to squat here to make it even worse. I didn't mean that. I didn't mean to make you feel that way. It's fine. I, I understand. But if it's any consolation, um, I just want you to believe me when I say you're actually a very wonderful cook. I've been looking for an opportunity to tell you that. I know. And hearing it come from someone else makes it really nice. Thanks. You're welcome. That, yeah, you. <sighs> See you around, yeah? Sure. Zach? Yeah. Welcome to my house. See all that that you did downstairs, all that was unnecessary. Eh? You didn't have to do all that. What? It was what? The way you spoke to Abby, of course. You didn't have to do that. I didn't like it. You didn't like it? Bro, she's my wife and this is my house. I mean, it's not in your place to like it or not. So because she's your wife, it's okay to be downright condescending to her. Guy, now, Nobu, what's the problem? There the, are the kind of ways you, should, you could have passed your message. Eh? But plus, you don't even care that you have a guest in your house. Where's the guest? I hear the guest. I hear the guest. Nobu, I'm serious, man. Guy, you're like my brother now. You're my friend. So what are you saying? Notwithstanding, right. guy, that was not nice. I'm not your wife now. Please be, drop that thing. Am I missing something? Bro, I said drop it. Just forget it. Forget that thing, okay? It's kind of What's that? What did you do like that to? Are your wife with that? I don't know. Are your wife with that? I said forget this talk, guys. Okay? Forget it, Cheryl. Alright, see. You know marriage is built on mutual respect. Without it, it can't stand. So it's on the note of this standing that you reported me to Zach. Excuse you? I don't have to tell him anything. He has his eyes. I mean, I've told you many times. If you don't like it, it's very simple. You can just... I can leave. what? Leave? <laughs> Look, Nobo. You can't bully me out of my own home. 
You hear me? All I ask for is a little respect. Is that too much to ask? Are you done? Let's not disturb our guest. We used to be so in love. What changed you? Not many I didn't change. Maybe this has been who I've been all along. I know the man that I fell in love with. And I hate that you make me feel this way. I hate it. a joke or what? No joke. You are not leaving this house until you give me my money. No, but what is wrong with you? I told you that that's my business money. I want to use the money to stock up my shop. Come on, sit. Oh! No! 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 Are you out of your senses? If that's your definition of me wanting my money, then yes, I'm out of my senses. You know, your mates out there are there carrying their husband when he, he's down, but your own is no, you're just hell bent on disgracing me outside. Emphasis on when the husband is down. But no, but you're always down. You never accept to have money. No! Even when you have pretty good money sitting in your account. So permit me if I do not want to subject myself to becoming a slave for someone like you. Well, I don't have the money to give you. So what are you going to do now? Fight me, beat me, arrest me? <laughs> I'm not sure you want to go through that part. No, but let me have my money. Let me have my money. <laughs> no, but you know this marriage has really cost me unimaginable pain. You know that, right? Go inside and rest. You know, one day, one day, you will come back to your senses. And I won't be there by your side to take your trash anymore. I won't be there. And until that day. But for now, go inside and keep our guests company. After that's what you're here for. I hate you. I love you. Come on, get outside. Nonsense. Yeah, I saw the door slightly opened, so I thought so. Come in and check. But I could go if you want me to. That's fine. Um, are you okay? I overheard you guys earlier. You guys were really loud. Is everything all right? Why? So you can go and tell him that I'm hot. And you both can have a good laugh over me. What? No, no. Absolutely not. Abby, I am a friend. Yes, you're a friend. You're his friend. Come on. I, I... You know that I do not support the way Noble talks to you. Nor the way he treats you. At least I've made that visible and clear since I came here. I don't care. You're still his friend. <laughs> uh, 
Okay. Um, you know what? I think I know what's going on here. You're still angry that I came here without your consent, right? You're still angry at me for that. I am angry because I can't be happy for up to 30 minutes in my own home. I am angry because I am just standing by watching my shop crumble before my eyes. He owes you 250k. I could I could talk to him. I, I could pressure him to, to give you back that money. That money is yours. I could I could I could talk to him. You don't get it, do you? 250,000 naira was the last money he took from me. Nobu owes me 1.8 million naira and has not paid a dime. Wait, how? I don't follow. How is it that you kept giving him more money when he hadn't repaid what he what he owed? Because I love him. Because he's my husband and he's always in tight corners. Yeah. I can't ignore him when he calls me. Yeah, I I I understand that. You know what? My head is really hot. My head is full. I want my money. I can't let him get away with the money. And Noble won't give me back that money. I don't know how to go about it. I know this might probably not be what you want to hear, but allow me to suggest it, okay? Would you like to talk more over drinks? Yeah? Somewhere nice, you know? So that, so you just get this off your chest and, you know, onboarding yourself. I'll drive. My treats. I strongly believe it's a help. Because I'm married to him. Isn't that enough reason? People leave spouses they spend most of their lives with when they feel they're being disrespected. I mean, that's no excuse. That's no excuse. What are you trying to say? He's your friend, but you're asking me to leave? He's my friend. But I'm asking you not to just sit around and fold your hands while he treats you like nothing. Come on, if I speak to him and he doesn't listen, maybe you would. Maybe I say companionship. Maybe I seek someone to gist and laugh with. Someone I can play with. Someone I could be free around with. Maybe that is what I seek. But that's not the case. Because all we do is fight. Then talk to him. And you think I haven't? You think I haven't been talking to him? You've been talking to him too, I presume. But to what end? Has it changed anything? Like he ever listens. I know, I know you still love him. But so I'll, I'll just try to speak to him one more time. But you, you need to stand up for yourself. You need to, you need to stand up for yourself, Abby. You need, you need to, you, you, you're human too. Eh? You need to fight. He can't keep treating you like this. He can't. I'll fight. <clears throat> Nobo, I need my money back. 
the 1.8 million naira. I need it back. Now you can't have it. I'm not joking. You see, the problem I have with you is that you like to make me talk. Just talk too much unnecessarily. Zach, please be the judge of this. Bye. So, she borrowed me small money to add to my big money that I used to go and buy goods, right? And now, since then, I've been providing for the needs of this home, right? So, how am I owing her? Well, um, honestly, I do not really see the exactly. problem here. It's her money, well, right? You should give it back. So, what happened to all the gifts I've been buying and all the needs? You haven't gotten me any gift. For the past three years, you haven't gotten me any gift. So what gift are you talking about? You think you can shiny like this and have not been buying anything for this house? You think you have enough money? How many people you have? This is business money. Just don't mind that. I've been providing for her in this house since. Look at who is talking about money. Do you have anything? Eh? Do you have anything, Mr. Man? Wait, wait, guys, please stop. Please. Zach, he's your friend. Ask him. Ask him to show us his account statement. At least account statement don't lie. And see whether he has money or not. I said maybe he has money he's hiding somewhere. Money that we do not know about. Abby, enough, okay? No, boy. Come on now. Eh? I mean, the money is hers. And she has every right to ask for it back. And... Oh, we both know that you do not run a home on a woman's money. You're the man, the provider. You, you, you certainly do not provide on a woman's money. Oh, so the man should die. Hmm? The man should choke and die now, as I'm the man. And small, just small 1.8 million that she bought. How many years of marriage? 1.8 million. I will not hear a word. I don't have it. I'm not giving you she die. Take me to court. <laughs> okay. Fine. I understand. And I hope you would understand me too. What is that supposed to mean? I'm asking, what is that supposed to mean? Zach, did you just hear her threaten me in my own house? No, it's okay. No, just eat this rubbish. Because I complained about salad the last time. Look at the nonsense you put. No. This is salad. Pack mm. cream and, and just put more sweet corn inside. Mm. Instead corn, say sweet corn. <sighs> <sighs> What's happening? Mm. Oh. Zach, what do you I think about my marriage? My wife? Oh, nothing. I, I do not have an opinion about your marriage. Hey, come on, man. You're like a brother to me. <laughs> but you said I should not involve myself in any matter that involves your wife or your marriage. I'm only obeying a brother. <laughs> you think I hate her, don't you? That's why you supported her the other time. You don't. I mean, <laughs> I'm, I plan on going out this weekend to, to look for your house. So move out. Why? Why? <sighs> Come on, don't act surprised. The incessant fighting is not something I want to be caught up in. <clears throat> look, we're doing okay now, okay? No marriage is perfect. But you just mind your business and stay with me and go with my life. <sighs> no, boo. No marriage is perfect, yes. But this is not it. Bro, if she were my sister, I would have dragged her hand and walked her out of this mess. Hey, your... You asked for my honest opinion. You, you, you talk to her and you treat her like trash. Bro, I'm going to talk to you. You're my friend and my brother. You need to fix this before you lose a good woman. Good woman. 
一旦拿回来点药，可以拿回来。So if she wasn't a good woman, would you still have her in your house? Acting like this, you would have sent her away a long time ago. Guy. Guy, have you seen my car keys? No. Why? Why did you leave them? <sighs> what if, um, Abby, I've not seen her since I woke up. No idea, bro. I've not seen her either. Ah! What the hell is this crazy woman doing with my car? What's going on here? Wait, what's wrong? Uh -uh. Baby, look, I have a buyer for the car. Hey, look, that's not her. You know what? Guy, go home, alright? This car is not for sale. Eh, eh. No, no, no. That's not what I told him. Mom. Please, my car is for sale. It's for sale, eh? I'm sure you like it already. Just wait here. It's... Come here. Ah! Oh, baby. Mother! Hey. What is going on? Are you crazy? What are you doing trying to sell my car? Your car? The car that I got for you? Hey. Is that what you're talking about? Why your voice? Or what? You... If I don't, what are you going to do? Oh, you told them that you got all this yourself, right? And you don't want Zach to know that the woman you talk down on is mostly your provider. Is that it? Tell me. Abby, look. No, boy. I love you. I love you so much. And because you know this, you decided to treat me like trash. But not anymore. I am no longer going to be that fool anymore. Give me my car keys. Or what? I need my money then. And I told you I don't have it. Give me my money. Because I am not going to let you live your life while you confine me to this house and keep mine away from me. I said it again. I don't have the money. All right? All right. Fine. You don't have the money. And I assume you won't have the money to afford the car. So, I need to go attend to my buyer. What? It's a gift. You can't take it back. But that's not what the name on it says. Remember? My name. <laughs> so am I getting my money? Fine, I'll transfer you. Okay, go tell the guy that he, the car has been sold already. No. I need my money first. I guess you are. You're a already. thief. You're a thief. Fine. Thank you. I'll send it to you. Hurry up. Big thief. Two million era. That's what you're sending. Uh, but I owe you just... I know what you owe me. I'm adding extra for the stress. Two million error. If you're not ready, please, let me go on. Don't please give me my car keys. Evidence of payment. Let me see your evidence. Proof. Testing me. Oh, 
Okay. Here you go. You can tell him the car has been sold. <laughs> You're a thief. Thank you. Big thief. Criminal. You should be in jail. Hey, bastard! The car has been sold, idiot! Hmm. Uh-uh. He wanted to take my money. I just had to follow Zach's advice and act really fast. Wow. But you say this Zach of a guy supports you. Hmm. Surprisingly, he does it. He supports me. Tell me about him. What is there to know? Aside the fact that he's, he supports me and his noble's friend, there's really nothing much to know. Why? Well, it's weird to know that his friend is supporting you. I mean, others could have just supported their friends. I know. That shows that there are still good people out there. Yeah. Zach is just like a wake up call for me. I mean, this <laughs> sounds funny. Girl, he needed to see my husband's face yesterday. <laughs> he thinks he's smart. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, uh. Welcome. Hi. Hello. Hello. Just uh, sit down. The romantic film is here. You love it. Uh, uh, guy, calm down now. Let her enter inside her. She's just coming back now. Calm down. She loves romantic films. She'll love this one, won't you? Uh, she loves romantic films. Relax. That's fine. Enjoy. So she even learned how to be romantic too. <laughs> this guy. Really? You got this. Honestly, yes. Look at you. Just imagine her talking. I honestly don't understand why that guy still bothers with time in the first place. He has already said that she can't satisfy him. So what's he, what's he doing? Mm, yeah, but she's still his wife. Eh? I think the idea of being a couple is that, you know, they can teach each other how to satisfy themselves. Yeah, yeah. You're really in no business thing. See, eh? there are some people that cannot be taught. No matter what you can do, like, you can do your way down. Where's that? Ah, no boo. What? Come on now, that's not nice. She can't do anything. No. Do you know that she's as stiff as see the way the <sighs> is yeah. they say yes, That's exactly how stiff you No, bro, come on. I don't need to be hearing this now. Come on. Come on now. Is that? It's fine. It's fine, my brother. She has said it. She'll learn. No, bro. Hmm? While we are at it, why don't you focus on the fact that Maybe I am unmoving because I am unmoved by you. Probably because you do not know your way around the bed. Maybe because you're such a poor and a sexual bum whose expertise is to pull out after 30 seconds. Ah. Now tell me, how can you experience goodness from a woman when your body lacks the ability to give it? You talk about stiffness, right? <laughs> when you can hardly get stiff down there when it's needed. <coughs> so before you jokingly humiliate someone's ability in bed, make sure you're not the walking shame I know in bed. <laughs> it's really finished to see your life. Eh? How dare you? I mean how dare you? What happened? How dare you talk about me like that in the presence of my friend? Mm. So I'm not supposed to reply. I'm just supposed to sit there and take all your insults simply because I'm the wife? Do you know who I am? How dare you tell my friend I'm a 30 seconds man? How dare you? <laughs> Remind me who you are. No, tell me. Calling me a plank isn't bad. Huh? I called you a 30 seconds man. But you and I know that you go more than that. I was joking. So was I. That's why I took no offense. But you come in here ranting. You joke, I joke. So why can't you say the element of comedy in mine? Listen, you will go downstairs and tell him you were joking when you said all those things. <laughs> I will do no such thing. Adi. What? You will crawl and beg me because of this thing you just did today. <laughs> Honey, that ship has sailed. 
it sailed. Hmm. Hi, handsome. You okay? Fine, or it could be better. That's my job to make people like you better. I'm married. But I won't tell if you want, she'll never know. I can take your sadness away if only you have the right amount of money. So what do you say? Take my sword, my sword. <laughs> Permission to share your thoughts. Oh, it's it's not that serious. Trust me, I'm good. Enough to have you standing all by yourself here, lost in thoughts. Then it's enough to be worried about her. <sighs> you know he's pissed, right? I mean, <laughs> you were brutal on him in there. That's not my problem. He started it first. I know. <laughs> but would you be able to handle his comeback? We both know how petty he can get. Hmm? And knowing Nobu, he's going to want to strike back. I feel it already. I feel he's doing something bad. Something he shouldn't be doing. Something that, if I hear it, it's going to hurt me really bad. It's not that hard. I'm not sure I want to do this. Oh, you can. Yeah. 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 I have never really asked Noble about his friends. Mm. Yeah, but you've been nice. And I think it's safe to ask. Yeah, sure, ask away. I would like to know why have you never been married? You're in your thirties? You're handsome? Very comfortable? And there are millions of girls out there are you saying no one caught your fancy? I, I, uh, um, uh, I, I'm sorry. My bad. It's okay if you choose to ignore. No, no, it's fine. I, I, I just wasn't expecting that question. I am, I'm really sorry. You know what? Let me get us something to drink while we talk about other things. I was married once. Years ago. Oh. What happened? I was 23. Rich and in love with a girl that I felt was the love of my life. So, what happened? What changed your mind and made you realize she wasn't the one? 
everything. She started to fight a lot. Then she started drinking and partying. Suddenly, I uh, wasn't enough. I wasn't the man that she wanted. Exactly what's happening between Noble and I. <laughs> no. Noble loves you. Mine fell out of love with me. <laughs> Please tell another joke. I, I'm, I'm serious. He loves you. I mean, he's just being tough and stupid. <laughs> Zach, I'm not a kid. You don't have to patronize me to make me feel good. That's what he says. That's what he says. But I see what he does. And it doesn't necessarily spell love to me. I, I understand you. I do. And... To be honest, I do not believe you at all. Yeah, I'm glad I indulged. I enjoyed it. Thank you for convincing me. Amazing. Bye bye. Where have you been? Noble, I am asking you, where have you been? Does it matter? You smell of another woman and alcohol. Did you go out to cheat on me because of the fight? Will it hurt? Hmm? If I did cheat, will it hurt you? No, please. Well, I did. I was drinking when this chunk of a lady approached me and asked if I wanted to smash and I said yes and we went to the, the restroom and we had a hot smashing banging sex I guess what It wasn't Steve. How dare you? How dare you say that to me? You know, she just called me and she said, I was amazing. It was good. You know what you called 30 seconds, eh? <laughs> or someone's time of her life. It's amazing how women are different, you know. Just like they, they're different on the face, that's how sweet some can be. Something that you're a despicable piece of crap. She didn't think so. She thought otherwise. She said I was amazing. She said I'm a, a sweet man. Call me, Abby. Abby. Oh my God. Hey. Abby, what's wrong? Why are you why, why are you crying? 
Fine. Come on now. You're clearly sobbing your eyes out. What happened? Talk to me. Huh? I told you. I told you Nobu was doing something that's not right. Yeah, uh, okay. Well, I was correct. He cheated on me. <sighs> he cheated on you. Like, I don't understand. You, come on now. You can't be crying your eyes out over something that you're not sure about. You can't, you can't possibly know that. He told me himself. What? He explained everything to me in details. And this is a guy you said loves me. Is he I am mad? Disgusted. He's not, he's not mad. He's, he's not mad. Like, I, I, I know that he can be crazy. That, that, that's established already. But, 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 but this is a new level of low, even for him. What's, 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 what's wrong with this guy? Doesn't his marriage mean anything to him? Where are you going? I'm going to talk some sense into his coconut head. And I hope he can hear me. I'd say what to him. Look, I am his wife. This is not your fight. It's only going to make matters worse. Abby. Just let it go, please. Let it go. Look. I... I don't want to talk about this marriage with him anymore. Since he... Since he has ended it, then I will follow. Abby, come on now. Why is Nobu, Nobu, why are you doing this? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. There's no remorse, it's so full of himself He don't know how to treat a lady Living with him is lies Living in hell's fire Staying with him is lies Staying with a stranger Um, Abby, Abby, I, I was wondering, in, in my drunken state, did I say something I'm not supposed to? Haven't you been saying things you're not supposed to say to me? So does it matter? You know what I mean. What do you want, Noble? It's barely 7 a.m. I need to get ready for today. So can you, can you let me do that? What is wrong with you? I obviously said something. I could feel it, but I did. Even the coldness of your eyes, the way you're staring at me. What did I say? Are you worried that in your drunken state, you told me about your one night stand? Yes. You mentioned it. And in details too. No, 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 no. Uh, look, Abby, it's not true. All right. I was drunk and I don't and... care. All right? I don't care. You came in here smelling of her perfume. Can we can we talk about it? Abby. No, well, it doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't. I know you've been nasty to me for four years or more. But last night, you showed me where you placed me in your life. And I've taken note. And I will act accordingly.
Oh, you're going somewhere? Uh, yeah. I uh, just want to check out the renovation happening at the house that I'm moving into. You know, I want to do some follow up. Okay. I don't want those guys mistaking my silence for for seriousness. You know how we are. Yeah, I totally <laughs> understand. Well, I set the food on the dining. Oh, so, okay. yeah, you and oh. your friend. <laughs> I noticed you didn't eat. Yes, sir. I see you've been not seen a lot since morning. I guess sleeping with another woman has opened your eyes to a new dispensation. Abby. Look. What? Um, please, can you drop me off? I have an appointment in two hours. I'm having issues with my car. I, I will drop you off. I can drop you off. Since when did you start asking my friend to drop you off? I mean, when your husband is here. Zach, is that a yes or a no? Uh, um, yeah, yeah, sure. No problem. If your appointment is along my routes, then... Thank uh, you. Yeah. I'll wait by the car. What do you think you're doing? Helping. She asks for help and... Just rendering help. Hey guy, listen, listen. What you're going to do, you're going to go there and tell her that you don't want to be a part of this, you can't, so that I'll drop her. What, 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 what do you mean? Bro, you need to calm down. I might be under your roof, but I'm not a child. I don't want to be involved in, in your drama. Eh? See, she asked for a favor, and I'm granting it. That's all. That's all. Zach! Don't yell at me, guy. Please. She's your wife. If you don't want her to do something, then talk to her. Don't sending me around to her like I'm some kid. Is this one not a kid? Stop sending me to her like I'm some kid. This boy is mad. Can you tell me what happened in there? Did you two fight? Did he hit you? Abby, Abby, what are you doing? How? I'm going for my point. No, 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 please. Do not play dumb with me. Eh? I saw what you did in there. Running your fingers and your hand down my chest. What was that all about? Eh, you, you, that was to trigger Nobu, right? Come on, Zach. See, I've been nothing but honest with you ever since I came to your house. The, 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 the least you can do is return the favor. Well... I guess. I mean, he's mad, isn't he? So what do you think? Look, he has no right to be angry. I just ran my hand down your chest. But he slept with a whore last night. And he didn't hear me scream down the building. Abby, you can get back at Nobu whatever way you like, okay? By all means, I do not care, but do not use me. I am not using you. It's never my intention to do that. Okay, I'm sorry. It's fine. I'm sorry for lashing out. But, uh, I don't know. I just can't bear. It's okay. Once you get to that junction, just drop me off. I'll find my way. Baby, come on. I can just drop you off. Please. Please. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Abby, I'm really sorry about how I spoke to you earlier. I was just angry and I took it out took it out on you. I shouldn't have. Angry with him? Why? What do you mean why? For Christ's sake, you're a human being and he treats you the opposite of that. Is that why you're angry? So you see, when I told you about my failed marriage and how it crashed, one of the reasons I walked out of that marriage was because she didn't respect me anymore. Mm. So this whole thing triggers you? I mean, I, <laughs> I loved her very much. 
But she just woke up one morning and decided that, you know, I wasn't what she wanted. She came home late, smelling of different men, and even telling me to my face that those men were better than I was, or I am. Oh my goodness. That's it. <laughs> it killed my self-esteem. I mean, I had done nothing to her. But she felt like, you know, she needed to explore in the marriage. And since I didn't allow her to do that, I just turned her enemy. But that's not your fault. He didn't force her to marry you. Didn't force her, but you know, it seemed like she did it out of pity. I had, you know, spent so much on her and her family. And she just felt obliged, you know, to stay in the marriage. I guess that's what happened. Um, I'm sorry to hear that. You're still missing the point. You see, the thing is, I see the same pattern repeating itself in your own marriage. And it's even more crazy because I've been in your shoes before. Um, I just found out that I need to go back home and get some work papers that I forgot in the house. I'll pick you up when, you know, when you're done. Just call me. It's fine. Don't worry. I won't bother you that way. And um, thank you, Zach. Thank you. The traitor is back. I didn't do anything wrong. Didn't you? Bro, if you're blaming me because you feel inferior in your own marriage, or because you single-handedly jeopardized the love that your wife had for you. Had? <laughs> also, because you people had a heart-to-heart -heart talk, right? And she she told you now that, that, that she does not love me anymore, eh? Oh, no, but what do you want? Eh? I just want to grab some work papers and dash off. They're waiting for me at the house. What? I cheated on you. I cheated on my wife yesterday. Okay. So, uh, I'm not the one you should be telling. Oh, I see. You already know. You're not surprised. She told you. Look, guy, I'm not sure I appreciate your presence here anymore. My wife loves me. Right? Yeah, she might be angry right now, but she loves me. And she's not going anywhere. Once again, I ask you, why are you telling me this? Because she's warming up to you, and you might mis mistake that for love. But she's not in love with you, okay? She's legally married to me. She loves me. All right? She's not going anywhere, like I said. Even if we made a bet right now, all right, that, that you would try to see, he would still see what I'm saying. <laughs> bet. Did you say a bet? <laughs> you know, as much as I like the sound of that, my problem with you is that you're so full of yourself. You, 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 you're lucky enough to have found a good woman that opens herself fully to you. But no, you do not appreciate that. Huh? That woman's life is woven around me. Her entire well-being, the air she breathes, it's all centered around me. I, she loves me. Ooh. But of course, you want to see. So two weeks. Two weeks, if you can make her love you, Right? Then I'll give you five million. <laughs> Two weeks. No more. Two weeks. Are you, are you, are you, are you being serious right now? Do not start what you cannot finish. 
Okay. I'll take you up on your offer. <laughs> I mean. Yes. Take this shit out of my sight. I mean. Bring you to my house, you have eyes for my wife. Idiot. You fool yourself. Hi, Noble. I've been trying to call you, you've been ignoring my calls. You don't get to follow up after that day. I told you I am married. Happily. Excuse me. If you're happily married, I wouldn't find you here alone twice. Drinking. That's what I mean. Maybe I want to be here drinking alone. You know what? If she's a problem, or she doesn't give you happiness, why don't look for happiness elsewhere? Who do you think you are to give me life lessons? You don't even know me. But I know you well enough to know how ruthless you can be behind doors. Which is why I still keep in touch. Be friends, even. I don't want to be friends with you. That day was a mistake. I am trying to fix things. <laughs> I've been here crying, drinking. And you, you don't want to even consider your own happiness. Hey, shut up. You know what? Let's go to the bedroom. Make her see us. So that she will feel the same hot she do. At this point, there is no difference between her and I. Hey, I said shut your dirty mouth! Okay, I told you to never in your life ever compare yourself with my wife again. She looks so happy. No. No, 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 no. She cannot be happy with this guy. Look, she loves me. It's me she loves. I... What is this now? Ah! God, I'm losing my mind now. We should go out, have fun together, create memories together. And you think I want to go out with you? And there are a million and one girls out there that I'll be proud to go out with. What did you just say? Oh, you heard me now. You've been asking me this thing for days now. Uh, aren't you tired? 
Like, okay, you know what? Just stay in the house or go to your shop. Or you can even go to your friend Dorcas and gossip as you people usually do. Are you being serious? Is it wrong for me to want my husband? Is it wrong for me to want to go to the park with you, holding hands, go to the restaurant? Go to different places, the cinemas, and take nice pictures with you, just and laugh? Is that too much for me to ask? I hear you, Abby. I do. But the problem is you're not hearing me. I am not interested. I'm so sorry, Abby. But I'll lock you inside if I had my way. I don't want any man seeing you the way I have, knowing you the way I do. Maybe, maybe if I am a little more rude, you'll stay in here with me, never going out, just loving me and me alone. I don't mean to hurt you, but people have been nice to their spouse and still got dumped. Maybe if I try this way, you really stay. What did I ever do? What did I ever do to deserve this ruthlessness from you? Just what? They're not coming out. She saw me. They saw me. They both saw me, and yet they're not coming out. Ah, what is this now? I have to stop this shit. You know, it's been a long time I went out with a man. <laughs> yes. And I would say it feels different. And very refreshing too. Are you sure you don't want to go after him? I mean, your husband just saw you with... So? I mean, he was with a girl too. Well, he looks hot. I was hot last night, Zach. But look at me. I'm here now. What's wrong? I mean, Abby, I'm worried about you. If you still have feelings for Nobu, then I strongly advise you not to do this. Do what? Huh? I mean, we're just having a friendly date. <coughs> are, you, are you okay? Yeah. We're just having a friendly date, unless you're... Zach? You're not even looking at me. I... I hope it's not what I'm thinking. I... I... I don't know what you mean. Don't you? You're hardly looking at me. You can't maintain an eye contact with me. Zach. Zach, look at uh, me. Is it just me or this place suddenly become... Very hot. Do like you're feel, not. You feel stuffy. Yeah, feels a bit stuffy. Uh, let me get outside, okay? Get some air. Z Zach. What's with him? Zach. Zach.
You like me, don't you? Abby, stop, please. Okay, please. This isn't about your marriage. You've been considerate to me because you feel something, right? What, what does it matter? How long? How long have you had these feelings for me? Two years. Okay, maybe three. When I saw how much you loved Nobu and how he gave nothing in return. All those days when I got back with him and the dumb guy just forgot important dates and just threw your gifts to your face. God. You know, at first it was pity, but then I saw how stupid it was. And the more I fell for you, I just wanted to come to you when you cried. To hold you and console you and tell you that everything will be all right. Zack. I guess I I guess I just got attracted to you because we both want the same thing. Someone that would truly love us, see us and just reciprocate. We can still have that. Together. I, I, I don't know, Abby. Let's just go back inside. I'm sure the order we made would have been ready by now. I'm no longer hungry. Are you, are you out of your mind? This is very personal. This is why I jot down some... I saw you with my wife. She looks happy. So, I had your permission. Didn't I? Well, I take it back. I'm no longer in the game. <laughs> ah, no. This is not about the game. I mean, <laughs> you should know that that was only an excuse on my own part. Your marriage is over. <laughs> Don't get me angry. Nobu, you've been sleeping for so long, you cannot tell the difference between reality and a dream anymore. Huh? You ruined your marriage yourself. You destroyed it with your own hands, telling your wife the details of how, you, of, of how you cheated on her. Bro, you have a lot more to fight for than you think. Stay away from my wife. Stay the hell away from my wife. This is how happy you are because you went to eat with another man. Do I owe you an explanation to that? A married woman, Abby. Says a married man who was frolicking in another woman's pants nights ago. At least I haven't gotten to that yet. I'm sorry, we don't, we don't have to get there. I don't care anymore. And now you're sorry. Maybe you thought I was going to beat myself about it. But seeing how I reacted, seeing that I reacted the other way around, it hurt your little ego, and now you're sorry. No, it's not that. I don't, I don't know what came over me. You also know, Noble. You're still going to know. Because to be very honest, even though I spent a little time with Zach, I felt good. 
I felt happy. But I can't say that about you in the past few years. Uh, I can make it up. Okay, let's start all over. A clean slate, please. She's beautiful. What? The lady at the restaurant. The one you slept with. You wanted to hook up again. You know, I enjoyed the acting, the laughter, the busting out. <laughs> you know, you could really be a very good actor. You would do great at it. You've always told me I'm not good enough. And now I see your definition of a perfect woman. But it's fine. It's okay. I'm going to tell you what you've always told me. Abby, please. Look, I was drunk. I was sad. And, and I'm I... tired. Please. Let me be. I was doing something before you walked in. <sighs> oh, goodness. What is wrong with these people? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> By this time, why not go to sleep and leave me alone? I can't sleep. And that is my problem. How? You were always tired and sleepy when I was around you. So please maintain that energy and go to bed. Are you really going to be like this? So what do you want to talk about? Huh? How I'm ugly and you're cheating on me? How I'm trash and you, you treat me as, as such for years is what I deserve? No, I will never say that. Oh. Then guess who has amnesia now? Keep your voice down. Settle here. Then go to bed. Or at least let me be. I have no intention of saying a word to you. You're just a terrible person and I just realized that. Abby. You're awake. Did we wake you up? No. No, no. Uh, I've actually been struggling. Not been able to sleep a wink. It's maybe because I'm worried. I shouldn't have told you how I feel about you. You're my friend's wife. Zach, you did nothing wrong. You're not a bad person. You're a nice guy. The kind everyone would love to be around. Even you? Would it make any difference if I said yes? Oh. Abby. These are dangerous waters we're seeing. If you go feelings for me, this will only lead us nowhere. You are married. But I've been leaving like a widow. I have been leaving like a widow for the past four years. Don't you think it's time that I leave again? What is... Wait, did he do this to you? Did he hit you? It's nothing serious. Calm down. I... Hey, hey, hey. What, what are you doing? I'm going to have a word with him. Come on. Do you think I'll let you go upstairs to meet him by midnight to fight because of me? Yes. I can't do that now. Come on. Please. But I... I really need to talk. Tonight. I mean, how could he do this to you? Will you allow me to tend to it? I'm, I'm really sorry. Let me boil water.
Oh, 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 oh. Sorry. No, it's going to help. Mm, down. Mm. Sorry. Damn. Such so what? No, that's the best. Huh? Sorry. Sorry. Did she ever come back to apologize for hurting you? She? Uh -huh. You mean my ex-wife? No. She didn't? <sighs> wow. That means she, she already stopped loving you. Oh. oh. So did you cross path again with her? Mm. We crossed paths twice. Um, the first time was about a year after the divorce. And then again a few months back. You know, I found out she had remarried after we got divorced. And then she got divorced. Up until the last time, she was very well engaged to be married to someone else. Wow. <laughs> so you see, it's safe to say that I wasn't the problem. She moves on as fast as she ruins things. So now... Hmm. I agree with you on that. It's okay. I'm sorry about your face. That's fine. I'm not going to let this slide. Um, Abby, you and Noble, what's the plan? Do you guys plan on fixing this? You already know the answer to that. There is no fixing this. Uh, what happened the last time was the last straw for me. Um, uh, yeah, but I have to start looking for a new place, you know, a temporary solution to my living condition. Why? Is anyone chasing me? What, what, do you, what, what do you mean, why? Huh? Come on, I, I, I need time away from you. I need to be away from, from all this. If you guys get a divorce and we end up together, People are going to talk. He's my friend. Who cares about what people would say? Oh. People would always talk nonetheless. We shouldn't bother about what people would say. Abby, this doesn't sit well. This doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't feel right at all. Um, I think we should go and sleep. I'd like to run in the morning. Can I come? <laughs> when did you start running? For your sake, I could try. <laughs> I love this song. Let not be like I didn't want you. It's going to be rigorous. Just tell me what time tomorrow. I'll get myself ready.
boy. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man, this early morning F hits different. I just feel like lying down and taking it all in. It's just You know I have an idea. What? Why don't we just wait it out here? Catch our breath and we can go in whenever you want. Uh, huh? That's a good one. <laughs> Oh, oh my goodness. <sighs> this feels good. Indeed. <sighs> Have you noticed that we both seem happier since we started hanging out? <laughs> oh, Abby. Uh, <laughs> Noble is not going to like this, so. Nah. Noble is not going to like this at all. <laughs> See, I understand and I get that you're his wife, so I just have to be ready. <laughs> ready for what? To fight? <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> ready for flights. Come on now. I, I just came into your home and, you know, came to snatch his wife. <laughs> no. We both know that he's definitely going to throw me out. You didn't snatch me. He pushed me away. He pushed me away with a stale attitude. But he's still going to put the blame on me, which is typical woman nature. Do you know that I haven't gotten a penny from Noble in years? He has never wished me a happy birthday. Even when I throw parties for him every year, Parties that he miss. You know all this, you're his friend. I, you know, I actually tried to convince him severally to attend those, to attend those parties. Uh, uh, to be honest, I don't know how to put this, but he loves you. <laughs> Nonsense. No, I'm serious. He didn't just want to come off as too available, you know, too soft and vulnerable. I think something about my broken marriage broke him too. Hmm. You know, thinking about it, Noble, Noble changed around the same time you told me you got divorced. Yeah. Exactly. But that's not an excuse. Because not every marriage or family is, is the same. We are all different. Why would he think that I would treat him the same way yours treated you? I tried. I tried to tell him the same thing. Well, it's not my fault. So what, you want me to go back to him and then he breaks me again? I'm not doing that anymore. Zach, if you weren't here, I would still walk away. I'm still going to leave. Because last night was the last straw for me. You've done nothing wrong. You're just being friendly and nice. And I think I've seen all that I've been missing. Let's go in. Oops! Sorry, let me help you. Oh, oh I'm fine. Still ready to jog? <laughs> it's, it's crazy because I know. just keeps you know, popping up of nowhere, out of nowhere. Hmm. <laughs> I've been looking for you, Abby. What is it? Well, I'm done setting the dining, so when you're hungry, you could help yourself. I'm not feeling myself. I'm not feeling too well. Whoa. How are you feeling, bro? Don't you, bro? I, I, rush. I was talking to my wife. You know what? Um, don't worry. Let me go get it.
I see what you're doing. But it won't work. You won't destroy my family. <laughs> I didn't have to do anything. You did the destruction all by yourself. I mean, we're both men. We go for what we want. Oh, even if that thing you want belongs to someone else? Well, fortunately, she's not a thing. She's a human being who is not interested in you anymore. Oh, and she's interested in you. You, you. No, but behave yourself, okay? If you didn't know that already, then you wouldn't be so insecure, okay? Your friend, huh? and I'm going to tell you this for free. You have no more marriage here. You're not my friend. I better leave this house before I kill you. Sick indeed. Ha! I am your husband, Abby. And I won't let someone take you under my nose. What is wrong with you? Huh? Take me as what? As an object or what? I didn't mean it that way. Then what do you mean? Abby, I, I'm sorry. I, I am very sorry. I, this past few days that you've been cold to me, it's killing me. I, I, I can't continue to live like this. Why? Did I insult you? Did I call you names in front of your friends? Did I humiliate or talk down on you? Yet you can't take it anymore. Is this about Zach? Do uh, you, you think he's going to marry you if, you if you leave me? He makes me happy. Who's talking about marriage? And but you're always easing up to him, tending to his cheek and, and, and jogging. You never run. Well, I do. I do now. Because you never know what you can do unless you're challenged to do it. But you have always challenged me to see the worst in myself. Well, I have left that life behind me. Let me tell you something. I don't think I'm going to back down this thing. I will fight for you. Fine! Go ahead and do what makes you happy. While I do what makes me happy. Oh, so you're not going to tend to your sick husband, but you're rushing to go to go and send, keep, keep that useless Zach company because of his useless cheek. Really? Abby! Angry. Angry? Do I even have the right to be angry? Zach, we can do this. Can do what? Eh? There's nothing here we are doing. So what? We make each other happy. Yes, and so? He's going to call you and you're going to keep running back to him. Zach, this is not fair. It's not talking about me. It's not fair, but it is the truth, Abby. It is the truth. He's still your husband. He may have treated you badly, driven you crazy, but he is still your husband. So what do you want me to do? Huh? I don't know how to tell you what choices to make. Come on. You're not happy here, obviously. And even though I make you happy, we cannot still be together. Why? Because society will judge us. Society can go to hell. It's like you've been here for a couple of days. And those days were my happiest. Baby, please. Please. Where was society when he called me names? Where were they went? He took without giving back. Where was society when he called me ugly, shapeless, and said he married me out of pity? Where was the society when he called my dead sick mother a liability? Jesus Christ. So screw the society if I dare to be happy and they judge. Because I don't care. Neither should you. Abby, you feisty. You told me to fight, remember? So I am. Oh, oh my god. Sometimes I 
doing? Like, this is the most risk I've ever taken in my life. I could probably get killed for this. Zach, we can do this. Trust me. <laughs> okay. Um, the last meal was ruined. Do you care to go for another? I could if you like. I'm also famished. Okay. Do you want to go get changed? Mm, I should. I'll be back. Zack, 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 what are you doing? No. <sighs> Dressed up and you're dressing. Don't tell me you're going out with him. Nothing to say to you. Look, you don't need to keep up with this act. Okay, you don't need to to keep up just because you want to hurt me. You don't get it, do you? I'm not acting. Don't think that I'm going to watch you sleep with my friend under my roof and do nothing about it because I made a mistake once. Sleep with your friend. That's such a strong word. Don't you think? You see, the problem here is that you are hurt by the thought of me doing exactly what you did to me. But like you once said, if you're not comfortable with it, you can as well leave. Okay. I think my wife is here. Let you into my house and you come and you seduce my wife. You must be stupid. You are an idiot. Thief! Thief! Big thief! Thief, look at your nonsense. Cheap, cheap cream, homeless idiots. I bring you to my house and you come here and you 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 take my wife, you seduce her. Idiot! Betrayer! Take your nonsense away from here. Take it out. Get out of my house. What's all this rubbish? Out! Out of my house, homeless idiot, thief. You came and you camp in my house and you take my wife. You take them away from my house. Rubbish. Look at it. Just look at the cheap cream you're using. Look at it. Rubbish. Idiot. Homeless fool. So, are you sure you don't want to go somewhere fancy? Zach, I already told you a hundred times. I don't want to go anywhere. I just want to spend time with you and enjoy every moment with you. <laughs> um, Abby, you yeah. know, the way things are going, it's only right that I ask. Do you think we're going to fall in love? Aren't you already in love? But I'm asking you. I'm gradually falling. Gradually? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've always been someone who easily falls in love. Huh. With Noble, it was pure and intense. Huh. Yeah. But that's not your fault. I mean, that's just the way you're wired. You know, I've loved everyone effortlessly. But 
when I logged in, it was painful. Sometimes it will tear my heart apart, but I still stayed. I think that's that's what true love is. You know, it's just unfortunate that not everyone gets to see it till it's gone. And it's just sad. Really sad. But with you, it's different. <laughs> you know, my father, mm -hmm. before he passed, was a wise man. And he once told me that never leave the people that touch your spirit more than they touch your soul. But I've not even touched your body. <laughs> You've kissed my. I am married. <laughs> You've kissed my lip. Come on, my lip is my body. You've kissed me. <laughs> You've kissed me. <laughs> I want to get a divorce. Whoa. Abby, are you sure you don't need to think this through? There is nothing to think about. Look, I think he made me happy, but he didn't. I'd rather be alone than be with someone who would come to me in his own time. <sighs> Saki is going to hate me. Listen, this has nothing to do with you, okay? This. This is entirely what he did to me and how he made me feel. Okay? Okay, we're almost there. Really? Noble, really? You know, he saw me this morning when I was leaving the house and he didn't ask me to leave. Only for him to throw my things out like I'm some common thief. Well, what are you? Whose wife is standing beside you right there? Thief. No, you are the thief. Yes, you're the thief. You stole my happiness, my joy. In many years of marriage, I can't count how many times you've taken and taken without giving anything in return. I need to Dude. talk to you. Let me be. Oh, I said, let me be. Who the hell do you think you are to, 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 to try to save her from me? Can you stop this nonsense? Do you not realize we are outside and people can hear us? You know you're a weakling. Huh? Fine boy. But you can't keep a woman. Hmm? You, you, you think by treating her like trash and talking down on her, that is how she's going to stay with you? Do you think that's how she's going to end up staying with you? I actually would have actually asked for your opinion on okay. seeing if you have anything upstairs. Okay. But then it just hit me. Okay. You're actually a divorcee. Mm. You have nothing to <laughs> offer here. Just look at you. No, take a good look at yourself. It's clear and clear. Yes, he might be a divorcee. But he's the one who learned something and wanted to cancel you on how to act right. But you never listen. You don't. Abby. What? You think he's about throwing his things? You think throwing his face would change anything? <laughs> then you must be a joker. Because this is not about Zach. This is about where I find my happiness. And I'm sorry, because my happiness no longer lies with you. Abby, it's fine. It's okay. I'll pack my things and look for a lodge to stay at. I don't want this to become any harder than it already is. But I told you. I told you the bet was done. I told you we were done. It was over. Didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you the game was over? What bet? And even if because of that bet, you think I would have condoned this nonsense in this house? I would have killed him. No. See, Abby, I know this sounds very, very, very fishy. But yes, he dared me. Oh, but so I didn't want to go out. I've been a fool. No, 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 no. Abby, Abby. No, just take one more step. And let me do what I have in mind. Just enter trespassing. I dare you to open this door. Trespass door. I dare you. Just open this door. Now. I dare you. Get out of my house.
Abby, Abby, I can't explain. Don't even dare. Don't even dare to touch me. Don't think that what happened gave you an upper hand over him. I still hate you. The sight of you alone disgusts me. Just leave me alone. Abby. Abby, can you really not love me anymore? Is this the final straw for us? I mean, I'm not perfect, okay, but I can try. I don't want to lose you. I can't imagine coming back to this house and you're not there. Please. If I was the one who treated you like that, all these years. If I was the one who cheated on you, Noble, would you take me back? You see, we both have our answers. This marriage is over. Accept the reality and stop fighting the inevitable. Abby. No. Uh, Abby, please. Abby, please, okay? Please listen to me. I deserve to be heard. Abby, if you, if you just let me explain. Uh, I deserve to be heard now. Come on. You know me. I won't just do you like this. Please. Well, he wasn't out there waiting, so I snuck out. But he's right. You also need to hear his own side of the story. I mean, you can't believe everything Nobu told you. But he didn't deny it. He did not deny it. All I bought to him was a dare. It's not as if he's asking you out. I mean, you're still married. Why are you even so mad at him? Dockers, I am married by name. Do you call what I have a marriage? Look, I already spoke to my lawyers and they are taking the necessary step for a divorce. Noble wants a separation, but I am not giving him that. I don't want to have anything, anything at all to do with him again. That means you had plans of dating his friends, even when you know people know him as your husband's friend. None of them cared when he treated me like a trash. So I don't care now. I will live my life the way I want to. I miss him though. I mean, Noble has been trying so hard, getting me gifts which I returned. Abby! What? I don't want his gifts. Yes, which he would use to insult me later. Did I tell you that? There was a day he got so frustrated and he nearly hit me. Jeez. Yes. You can see that we are better off without each other. So, please. Okay, are you ready to talk? What? Yes. Talk about what? 
Hey. I'm sorry, babe, but you need to listen to good sense. What is there to listen? Look, I already told you that I was a game to him. Uh, I thought all this happens in movies. He did dare me. Like, he literally dared me. I'm not lying. But I told him that I took it because that way I'll be free with you in front of him. Not because I was in on his game. I don't believe you. I don't. Okay, look at it this way. We were already great friends. Things were going really well for us. Like I had no reason to try to seduce you or anything. Think about it. So, you really like me? And all this was not about the game or what he asked you to do? Come on. You think I'll still be trying to talk to you if it were? Okay, um... Abby... I am really sorry. I mean... I, I didn't think you should know. But... When he came to me and told me to stop, I refused. Because I liked you. I, I've come to like, you know... Your company. How you make... Like how you make me laugh. And even more, I love... I love how you touch my soul without touching my body. I know. But we can't be together. Mm. Your marriage... It's been taken care of. It has. I believe he would find his own person. Both of us will. I'm thinking I found mine. <laughs> but I'm still in the learning process. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I guess um, we just have to wait till it's finalized. I know. I missed you. I missed you too. <laughs> Have you had anything? Yeah. What kind of man he don't care for his woman and he don't wanna know. Yeah. What kind of man he feels no remorse? He's so full of himself. I don't know how to treat a lady Living with him is nice Living in hell Staying with him is nice Staying with a stranger Living with him is nice Living with a monster Staying with him is nice 